Right, I'm gonna begin sort of by asking how it is for you guys to be kind of sat here today together, because you've sort of been through this thing together, almost like two people that have kind of experienced trauma together. I imagine they must share this quite profound thing for the rest of their lives. So do you guys feel a bit like you, you share something quite special as a result of going Absolutely. to these places? Yeah. Absolutely. I, we are- The four of us. Yeah, the four of us. Yeah, yeah. we are, it, it, you know, inextricably linked now, I think, for for uh, for the duration. Yeah, yeah. No, we feel like a family yeah. with all the good and bad. You know, we yeah. argue all the time, <laughs> cut each other off, as you'll see, but, and disagree, but uh, but we're connected. Forever. Yes, yeah. very much so. I mean, it must have been an exhausting place to go to emotionally. Well, I mean, as much, I'm sure, as rewarding an experience this was, when this shoot was over and you had your kind of rap party, was there a sense of just release? Uh, release? And was it quite easy to sort of go back into normality? Or was there a kind of period of re readjusting? I, I... I think it wasn't so much a matter of release, like, you know, it was more like a feeling of that we'd been through or that we'd done something that was kind of important, that that kind of, that had kind of changed us, I think, yeah. in a way. And and I so there was a celebration. Mind. There was a celebration when we were down at the rap party with, you know, our local crew and all these wonderful people who had helped us make the film and, and the wonderful reverend who was yeah, who ran the church, church, you know, was there. And and it was it was Don't a you feel so I, I I still feel it after thirty odd years, but I felt in this project maybe more than anything. I didn't want to do something else. I mean, we've been doing it for two weeks. I felt like I've been doing it for 20 years. Yeah. I didn't want to move on to what the next phase was. That was my life. Right. Going into a room with you three, being incredibly emotional, dealing with this trauma. It felt, yeah. telling this, you know, gripping story. I didn't, I didn't want to get on the plane and go and do something else. No, yeah, no. it's funny. I think we, it felt, it was, it was like, but it was not the end. Do you know what I mean? I, I think that's what I meant to say. Yeah, it, yeah. it didn't feel like an ending at all. Yeah, yeah. At all. It felt like a, like a, like, Kind of like the film is. It felt like an op like a door opening, yeah. rather than closing. Yeah, I mean, when you're in the sort of in movies, usually there's often there's so many different outfits, different sets. You're traveling sometimes from location to location. How is it just every day turning up in the same outfit in the same room? Do you think it does it make it kind of easier to kind of tap into those emotions when you've got that kind of sense of con continuity? Yeah, just 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 the other actors. Actually, the director kept himself out of the room. Fran gave us the space to kind of take ownership of the story, if that makes sense. There were mm -hmm. the cameras there, we forgot about them. It did, yes, there's nothing else distracting. There was just myself and my wife and these two people that uh, we were almost in combat <clears throat> with. And it was, it was something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we worked, of course, um, aside from the stuff that was outside the room, which we shot at the beginning, we only had 14 days. Um, and then we shot everything in the room, at the table, in, in order, mm. in sequence. So that also was extremely helpful because if you notice, the, the, the script itself has a real um, forward motion, a real momentum to it. And so doing it all like that, you know, sometimes upwards of 15 pages a day or more, um, was very helpful for, for sort of maintaining that energy and that motion. It's a weird thing to say. There's a kind of thriller element to it. I mean, there's definitely, when I was reading it, a page turner element. And because we were shooting in order, mm. we all wanted to know what was going to happen next. I mean, the room was very, very tense and very emotional. We just, we'd, every day we'd get there and think, what's going to happen now? Because we didn't plan. There are words written down, but how it came out and what the dynamics were we just unfold every day as a surprise. Mm -hmm. I mean, each of you have this kind of big emotional kind of moment. I mean, it's, it's, it's a quartet of incredible sort of performances. When you're on set and, you know, someone's delivering, like Anne's delivering one of her incredible kind of moments of emotion, are you able to, in that moment, appreciate your working with fantastic actors? Or is oh, that absolutely. something that only comes afterwards? Yeah, Absolutely. Well, it, it also, you know, you're, I think, I mean, just for me, anyway, I speak for myself, you know, you're you're in it, but not of it, right? So you can see what the others and what the others are doing. And of course, because you want to be aware and responsive and listening and all of that. Of course, you look across the table sometimes and it occurs to you, my God, isn't yeah, this wonderful? Yeah. Isn't this wonderful? The time, it, one of the times it really occurs to me, I remember looking at Anne and her doing some take where she's just pulling her guts out through you just uh, and her it, finishing her going that's bullshit let's just do that again yeah and yeah yeah doing it completely <laughs> different just as good but completely different me thinking i wouldn't yeah. want to be editing this thing yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. um but martha we're called hey you guys our website which you can probably tell is a ode to the goonies so it'd be a miss oh for my me gosh. to not mention the goonies 
uh, today. And I'd probably get sacked if I didn't mention the Goonies today. Oh my um, gosh. That film, obviously, and I think it was on the telly the other day, and again, it was, it was trending. Last and night, I, yeah. It is just, I mean, it, it has this kind it's of. It's a perennial outdoor screening here yeah. as well in Britain. Right, right, right. It's right. always one yeah. of those. Oh, you no. must be so thrilled to be a part of that. And do you still love sharing it with, with not just sort of people that have nostalgia attached to it, but the next generation watching it with sort of young family members? Yes, stuff. of course. I mean, it's lovely. It's it really, I mean, it's very gratifying. I mean, I never imagined. You still get paid I'd for still be. T- no. <laughs> No, no, I never imagined I'd still be talking about it at 50. No, no, I'm but sure. but it's marvelous. 50, I mean it's, it's impossible to believe. You can't be 50. I, know, I, I won't know. hear it. Can you st- I mean, no. can you believe? No. no, but it's lovely. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, because yeah, you must have encountered that with the Harry Potter fans. I mean, kids were probably scared of you. Uh, uh, no, I don't no. look like Mrs. Malfoy, so <laughs> people don't expect to meet him <laughs> in a supermarket yeah. buying yeah. fish. No. no. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for your time, Sam. Well thank done you. on this incredible movie. Thank Thanks you very well. much. Thank you guys. Appreciate Thanks a lot. Lovely to see you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey! hey.